Hi, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great, great, great start to your week. Um, we just had new moon in cancer. Welcome to the new moon. And this will be a new moon in cancer. Pick a pile reading. So while you guys are just focusing on the cards for a minute, uh, um, and if something resonates with you already, then you already have your pile in mind. But if not, just let me explain what new moon and cancer means, the energy, and then I will flip over the cards and tell you the corresponding crystal with it. If you choose, pick a pile with a crystal. So go ahead and focus on the cards if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and go into a little bit about what new moon and cancer means. So yet another lunar cycle is nearly complete. With a new moon on the horizon, which was last night, we collectively, collectively ride the watery waves of cancer season. Here's what to know. So June's new moon and cancer lands in the skies last night at 11 p.m. You won't be able to see it, but the moon sits in the shadow when it's new, but that doesn't mean we won't feel its impact. So as for this particular new moon, Cancerian theme will be in the forefront from family relationships to your space at home. And by the way, cancer is already ruled by the moon to begin with. So you can consider this a double dose of lunar energy. So in terms of what this moon could mean for us is the sensitive sign of the crab ask us to dig deep and ask ourselves what truly makes us feel safe, secure, and comfortable. And with Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion in Aries, to, the urge to overhaul in those areas may feel well, may feel well and urgent. So. Um, always check with your sun, moon, rising on your birth charts. So once again, this cancer, new moon and cancer has to deal with a lot of family relationships to your space and your home. So, and you're getting a double dose of lunar energy. Now I will link this article that I read by Sarah Regan in the description below. If you would like to know more. All right. So. I will go ahead and reveal and turn over the cards for the pile. So pile number one, you have the thunder. Now with the thunder comes smoky quartz. I don't know why this won't focus. Well, this is a smoky quartz. There we go. No. So smoky quartz with pile number one, pile number two, is the mirror with yellow adventuring pile number three is the dream we have some very very good cards with this new moon and amethyst is the crystal for this one pile number three then we have the fiery with which is really 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 good and cool this is the carnelian flower agate carnelian flower agate okay i'll let you guys take a minute or so to um to feel and resonate with the cards Okay, so now I will put up two, three, and four so we can go ahead and start with our pile number one. All right, so pile number one is 
the thunder with smoky quartz. I'll move that off to the side because we are going to need a bigger view. All right, so the thunder. Already I'm sensing with this card is you're making your presence and everything's going to be coming in with this new moon like the thunder. You are going to be feeling it like you feel the thunder. You're going to make your presence known like the thunder. Everybody will recognize you and know who you are. Your presence will be known and everything coming in new will be felt. You will be able to feel this. We're going to look at your oracle cards first before we move on to your tarot. So next we have Gypsy Columbine. Very interesting. I will be getting the book to get a more defining meaning of this for you all. Same with these ones. Then you have the fledgling. Ooh, I like how there's moon. Like all these cards have great symbolism in them. Bird. Look at the symbolism. So beautiful. The fledgling. And then we have Archangel Raphael. I don't like how this isn't focusing. I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life. Healing and knowledge. And then the last Oracle card is hold your vision, the fixed moon. What have you been your visions, your dreams You've been thinking about a lot of things. You've definitely been thinking about a lot of things. Let me grab the book real quick for these two so I can give you more in-depth meaning. going to look at your gypsy columbine i believe that's number 38 we're going to get the meaning of this one to go with the new moon so this card is telling you say the following affirmations aloud to boost the power of this message and to integrate it into your body, mind, and soul. You can say it morning or even for the few days or even a few months or just at the end of your healing. Gypsy free, gypsy in me, my wild body liberated sets, me, sets my spirit free. So this is a free spirit, I'm guessing. Okay, so the free spirit in you, yes, is rewilding itself shedding social conditioning and past patterns of behavior, right? Which is new moon and cancer is dealing with new things of your home and relationships, right? So definitely this is telling you, remember, it goes hand in hand with this card. You're going to be making your presence known. You're going to be feeling all these new things, new ideas, new feelings, everything new. You are going to be feeling it like the thunder. You need to shed shed any social conditioning and past patterns of behavior. Once again, this goes back to cycles and patterns. You need to drop all those bad patterns and cycles. It is shaking off socialism and emerging a new, like a shake shedding a skin. So another thing that is holding you back from advancing forward and making things new for yourself is you're kind of stuck in the social conditioning and the way of your beliefs. So, and that can hold a lot of people back because you're not open to change and you have to be open to change to accept what's new. 
So this is asking you to shed a little bit of your social conditioning and what some of your strict beliefs are so you can be open to receiving the new. The wild one within isn't a, isn't a savage. It's a raw yes, but also wise, authentic, beautiful, and with a deep and ins instinctive knowing as to what you must be. Can a bird even be truly happy whilst trying to be a fish? True freedom is to be truthful to yourself. Truthful to yourself. Wow. Okay. Fledgling. Let's dig into the meaning of fledgling. So fledgling is, dear one, when you receive the symbol of the fledgling, know that you are blessed with a time of learning new things. You can't make this up, y'all. You can't make this up. Shedding social conditioning and strict beliefs. Learning new things. Feeling everything new around you. You're going to be feeling it so fierce like thunder. Like it's going to make you shake. It's going to make you like... It's not gonna, it's gonna have the shock and awe value. This is just really amazing. This is the time for you to remember that you cannot know things until you experience them. So if you're being held back from social conditioning and your beliefs, drop some of that because you need to experience life, experience new, new moon and cancer. Being in this evolving state means you may stumble a bit. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Now is the time for being gentle with yourself as you step into your destiny to become the beautiful person you are meant to be. When the fledgling appears to you, it is a sign of new growth, wonderful new opportunities. Step forward with curiosity and a willingness to learn and discover. Perfect for new moon energy, right? You have got to let go of these things that hold you back. You have got to be to be open to receiving the new, which is what new moons do. You have to be open to receiving new things, new changes. And you are dead. Once you do that, even before you do that, you may already be feeling these things just like come at you, like feeling it deeply, like the chills, a goosebump, like a double take, or like just all of a sudden, like you're just shooken out of nowhere. Like, what was that? You have the feelings of it, you know, there's something additional there and you're feeling it. You're definitely feeling it. And then, like I said, Archangel Raphael, I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge. So shedding social conditioning and beliefs and asking Archangel to help you with healing and knowledge. Invite Archangel Raphael and then hold your vision. So you've had this vision of you wanting to do something different and change, right? The vision has been there. And this is telling you to hold on to that vision. Hold on to that vision because that's going to help you with your transition. That is going to help you with your transition. Okay, so there's your Oracle cards. Let's dig into your tarot. So no reversals as it is new moon. You have the five of pentacles. I really wish that this would just focus. Five of pentacles. Look at this. The imagery of this. Five of pentacles. It's like someone not wanting to accept things. Change coming their way. Very hesitant. Very hesitant on accepting it. Someone's giving you the opportunity, but you're very hesitant to accept a change. You're not a very big fan of change. Not a very big fan of change. Seven of cups. So many different things around you. So many opportunities. You have a, so many opportunities. So many chances at opportunities. Don't be held back. The higher you go up, the more the opportunities this is just the beginning, step one. Step one is just the beginning. Shedding social conditioning and some of your strict beliefs is holding you back from your new opportunities, new relationships, new adventures, new ideas. All these ideas and opportunities are available to you. Don't let them pass you up because of your beliefs. Yes. The Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. 
with the lovers. So definitely, definitely new relationship, new romance, new relationship, whether it's friendship, whether it's with family or a spouse or a lover or finding someone new. It is definitely, definitely there. Absolutely there. Look, look at that moon, new moon in cancer. But you have to open yourself up. You have to open yourself up to receive that. Then you have the devil, which is the chains that bind, right? So this again, one's talking about your beliefs. You're being held back by your beliefs, by social conditioning, right? You need to be more open, more free with yourself. Be the true you. The true you wants to come out. This is your true self being, hey, let me out. I want to experience all these new things. Do not stop being a prisoner. Okay, stop being a prisoner. Be free. Be open to receive. Wow, very powerful messages here. Very powerful messages here. I do, oops, hang on, sorry, my earbuds. I do want to help her. Sorry about that. I'm grabbing something here. I do want to, however, the Ace of Wands. All right, so Ace of Wands, it brings a flash of inspiration, a charge of energy, and a new lease on life. This energy is not to be taken lightly. Wands are intense, charged up, and ready to go. The fire on top of the world holds great power. Get ready for things to get interesting. Once again, new sparks, flashes of inspiration telling you, you are being told to open yourself up for change. Open yourself up, drop your guards, drop your barriers, drop some of the social conditioning and strict beliefs that you have because you are missing all these opportunities that are available to you. Relationships, Ideas, opportunities, relationships, home life, like all these things are here for you. Everything is saying new opportunities are there. What you've been vision, what you've had in your visions, like what you've dreamt of is still attainable. It is still most 100% absolutely attainable. You just have to let your guard down to experience them, to feel them. You have to let yourself feel, go off feeling, okay, rather than logic, because some things can't be explained through logic, okay, some things you have to trust your feeling and your instincts, and you're being asked to do that so you can experience the full greatness of what's there for you, so many new opportunities is there for you for pile number one. Okay, pile number one, I hope this resonated with you. If not, there are three other piles to choose from. And if you picked more than one pile, that is just as perfect. That means two piles resonated with you. So thank you for picking pile number one. Pile number one, this is your reading. Um, if you would like to leave me a comment and a like below, that would be fantastic. And we will be moving on to pile number two. I will be putting timestamps so you can just choose your pile instead of listening through all these other piles, okay? All right, so there is your reading pile number one. Pile number two. 
All right, so pile number two, remember you had the mirror and we will be starting with the yellow adventurine. Okay, and we will be starting with your oracle cards just like pile number one. So let me get this out there, oracle, oracle, oracle. All right, so the mirror. A lot of this when I think of the mirror, what do you think of when you think of the mirror? I personally think of self-reflection, right? Because you think of images, a mirror image. So possibly some self-reflection here going on for Newman and Cancer for you, pile number two. All right, let's see. You have, ooh, the sacred fool. The sacred fool. Very interesting. Sad looking, but maybe not sad, right? Because masks are only on the outside and not what you feel on the inside. Okay, Sacred Fool. We will be diving into that more. Then you have, ooh, the warrior. Let's see symbolism here. Can I get this to focus in? There we go. Warrior. Then we have solar plexus chakra. I take actions daily that, awel that awaken my personal power. This is amazing. With Newman and Cancer, you're already working on your solar plexus. So you're already doing the actions daily needed to awaken your personal power. You're already on your way. You're already on your way of awakening your personal power, which is absolutely amazing. And then you have... Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate, which matches perfectly with you doing your solar plexus, plexus chakra as because you're working on it daily. This is just telling you to keep at it, keep meditating and keep and keep contemplating. But let's I want to dig into the sacred fool. Let's dig into the sacred fool. So the sacred fool is saying, imagine a life free from concern about the opinions from other people, a life where you feel brave enough, free enough, trusting enough to play the fool, to make a choice, even if it seems illogical, unreasonable, daring, or downright foolish. Cast aside sensible opinions and poker faces. The sacred fool invites you to live unafraid and take the risk and step away from the confines of what seems sensible and logical in life. Yes, yes, self-reflection, stepping outside of your comfort zone. I talk about this all the time. The magic happens outside your comfort zone. If you're stuck in your comfort zone, you will never be able to experience all the greatness outside of your comfort zone. Because in your comfort zone is like a box, it's like a bubble, it's like a barrier. If you don't step out of that, you are missing so many great experiences. And this is telling you, be the fool, be reckless, make choices you never would make. Want new moon and cancer, new experiences, new, 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 new. Do things differently. Take a chance. Risk it for the biscuit, right? Risk it. If you see something that you want to do and normally you're like, no, nah, no, nah, I can't do that. Do it do it. You will feel 100% better and confident in yourself. Change self-image, right? Self-image, self-reflection. Who is the real you? Is the real you confined to only a certain set of things that you do? Or is it living outside of the box, taking chances, taking risks, doing what you want to do? This is telling you that's what you have to do to this is what you have to do. Don't let things hold you back anymore. It, it's like a recurring theme if you notice with pile number one, right? They were getting told almost the same thing. They were being told almost the same thing. Stop being held back by your beliefs and social conditioning. 
you need to live life for you because you only get one life, one physical life per lifetime. And you need to experience it. Okay, so next one is the warrior. Let me dig into this. So the warrior, my beloved child, when the warrior appears to you, it is such a fortunate sign that no matter what is happening to you in your life, you are truly protected. So you already have protection from your guardian angels and your spirits, right? You already have protection from them. And for some reason, you have this extra protection that you're not wanting to live to live and get out of that bubble, that comfort zone that you have. But you really need to. And it's a time for self-reflection. You have got to look at yourself and be like, who do I want to be? Where do I want to be from now? Do I just want to be stuck in this thing and not take a chance and just and just feel stagnant? If something is feeling like the same old, same old, it's tedious, nothing's going to change. That's being stagnant, okay? You're stagnant in your choices and in your life. You need to make a change. New moon in Cancer. Make changes. Every new moon is changes. You should definitely be making changes with new moon in Cancer. It's almost like begging you to, okay? All right, let's dig into your Oracle, your tarot cards. So you have the chariots, which is, ooh, moving on. Moving on, taking chances. That's what I'm getting from this. Going with the theme here, right? Leaving, leaving things behind. With the hermit, right? Isolation. Stop isolating yourself. Yes, there is time for you to have alone time, but there's a difference between alone time and isolation. You need to stop living in isolation. You need to explore, get out of that comfort zone. There is more. There is light. There is new. You just need to get out and find it. Then you have the four of pentacles. Getting back in touch with the moment. You've placed yourself in a state of paralysis or disengagement, but this is not what you need right now. Instead, allow yourself to reconnect with the ordinary everyday experience of life. When you are connected and grounded in the moment, it's easier to let go and find new interest in something that was not there before. Once again, like you can't make this up, okay? It's legit telling you new experiences. Let your guards down. Let your guards down. You have to, so you can experience the full experience of your life. You need to experience the full experience of life. Stop letting things hold you back. 100%. And then you have the five of swords. Everything comes with a price. Sometimes that price is pain. Sometimes it is a good idea gone horribly wrong. The trick is your response to the price. How you respond cuts the bruises. And this card brings with determination whether or not the price you have paid for what has been worth. So like everything, right? That's why I say risk it for the biscuit, right? That's why we come out of our comfort zone because we know that it's not always going to be successful, but we are putting ourselves out there. Yes, with risk comes consequences, but you have to decide if the risk is worth the consequence. And in this case, it it is fully worth, 
fully worth because you're already working on your solar plexus. You're already working on awakening your personal power, but there's still something holding you back, right? You're still not fully awakened yet because there's something holding you back and you, you feel your personal power, which is why you're being called for self-reflection because there's things holding you back. Okay. There's things holding you back. You're like, you're being told that you need to move forward. You have to deal with this. Like you have to deal with this. Yes, there are consequences, but you have to figure out if discovering new things about you, trying new things is worth the consequence. Okay. Then you have four of cups. See if we can get this to focus. Four of cups. Look, not even paying attention to what's over here. You're totally ignoring everything. Sometimes getting everything that you want doesn't feel like you dreamed it would. Sometimes it is just too much, too overwhelming, and too good to be to be true. The bigger problem, the bigger problem, of course, is that once you are finally manifesting what you want, everyone will come to give you more of the same. Sometimes you have to be very careful what you wish for because it just might show up. Okay. So we know that you're already working on awakening yourself, right? So just be very, very, very careful on how you're doing it. Because if you're not fully open and you still have these barriers up, you're not going to get the result that you're looking for. Okay. You're not going to get the result that you're looking for. You have got to let down your guards and barriers. You have got to open up more because you're ready to move on. But something is holding you back. Okay, something is holding you back within yourself. Something is holding you back within yourself. And then you have to think about with yourself is if you risk it, is the consequence worth it? And I personally think, hell yes, the consequences are definitely worth taking the risk. What is what is living life if you're not taking risks, right? What is living life if you're not taking chances? So take chances. Get out of your comfort zone because you already feel your power. You know you have power, but you're not experiencing your full power, your, your full true self because you're being held back by everything. Open up yourself to change to something new, to something different. That is your message for new moon in cancer. Remember, now is not the time. To be doing to be doing solo dolo, to be doing everything solo and being in isolation like a hermit crab. Now's not the time. You need to get out of that shell. Out of that shell. Out, 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 out. Okay, pile number two. This was your reading, and I hope it resonated with you. And if not, I'm sorry that it didn't, but there are four piles. So maybe you can find one that resonates with you. And remember, these are always collective readings. So you may or may not find a pile that fits you. And that is okay. And that is okay. Pile number two, this is your reading. All right, let's move on to pile number three. All right, pile number three. You had the amethyst with the dream. Oh, I absolutely love this card. So you have the dream. What do you think about when you think of the dream? Hmm? What do you think about this? Is what I usually go on. What do you think about? What do you feel? You got the dream card. Love, love, absolutely love this card. All right, we're going to start with your oracle cards like we did last time with all the other piles, and then we will move on to your tarot. All right, so with that, you also have, ooh, white duchess. This card is so beautiful. This card is so beautiful. Very beautiful. I love how this card looks. I get really great vibes from this. <gasps> Wait, look, they're both wearing hats. Are you? Oh my God, look, they're both wearing hats. 
say what? Okay, so the White Duchess. And then you have the High Priestess of Water, which water is a lot of emotion, right? Water deals with emotion. I love the moon. She's wearing a headdress too. Headdress, hat. Say what? A lot of symbolism here, pile number three. Then you have the present. I fully experience every moment of my life living in the present. This is saying that you definitely do live in the moment. You live in the present. This is definitely saying you live in the moment. Wow. Such great vibes off of this. I love this card. And if you're not living in the present and living in the moment, you definitely should be. You definitely should be. Then you have step out of your comfort, another stepping out of your comfort zone. Another stepping out of your comfort zone, North Node. Okay, so let's dig into your White Duchess. All right, so White Duchess. Don't look to what has been to find your destiny. Your future is bright and blessed. If the pain of the fat of the past feels a little too far, feels a little too close for comfort, White Duchess steps in to help you leave behind the emotional storms of your past and move into her protection. A time of transition is upon you, and soon your feet shall settle up sacred ground and calm shall prevail inside and out. So what I'm gathering from this, because you have the dream card, so usually with the dream, I associate right with, um, right, your actual dreams. And however, with this, with the dream card with the White Duchess card is saying that you have been focusing a little bit on um, things from your past and you've been dreaming about them. And it's because you've been thinking about them, you're dreaming about them. And it's causing a little bit of a setback for you. Okay. It's causing a little bit of a setback. And I'm not sure what it is about the, about what you're dreaming about in the past, but it, it definitely does affect you. But the white duchess is telling you that you don't have to focus on that because she is sending you protection as well. Okay. Don't let this nightmare, these dreams hold you back from living your everyday life, living and experiencing every moment of your life by living in the present. Don't live in the past, right? We don't want you living in the past because living in the past means you're not moving forward and you're not making progression, okay? Do not live in the past. Stop thinking about the past. Y you can think about it, but don't think about it so much to where it affects you, okay? You can like randomly have thoughts about your past, right? But you're thinking about it so much. I'm not sure if maybe you're coming upon the anniversary of a death or if something traumatic happened on you on, on, on certain times in your life, like certain days coming up that are specific for you, but um, you've got to drop that habit. You've got to, you've, I'm not saying that you have to um, forget, right? Just saying that you have to forgive and move on from this. You've got to forgive yourself. And you've got to forgive the people or person involved because you are slowing down your progress. Okay. You are slowing down your progress. And the fact that these are wearing headdresses and hats. Yeah. tells me it's, it's, it's in your head, right? The dreams are in your head. Everything is in your head. It's all emotions. It's all emotions of what you're feeling. That's holding you back. Next is your high priestess of water. Dear one, when my vampire high priestess of water visits you, it is to remind you that all things change like the powerful element she represents. Change, once again, change. And water deals with emotions. So you have to, once again, you have got to change the way that you are thinking, the way that you deal with your emotions. You've got to be like, you know what? Yes, it happened. Yes, it was traumatic. Yes, it affected me. But 
I have got to forgive and not forget. I will never forget. You will never forget. But you have to somewhat start healing from that. That happened to you in the past. So you can move on because you need to experience a life in this very moment so you can live life in the present, okay? Because either this one event or these many events you keep thinking back on and it's halting and it's halting what you're doing in your everyday life. Okay. you can't let that be what confines you. Don't let it confine you anymore. You have got to break free from this nightmare, literally this nightmare. Okay. Because water is emotions and the fact that you're feeling them all the way into your subconscious in your dreams is a huge problem which means you have to get rid of that. You have to change that process. Forgive, but never forget, okay? Because you need this experience that you had in the past that make you who you are today, but they don't define you, remember? Because if you're if you're holding on to these dreams and to these past events in your life, you're letting them confine you and hold you back. You have got to stop letting these emotions and these past events do that to you. Another stepping out of your comfort zone. Definitely having some uh, camera issues. It's telling you to step out of your comfort zone when it comes to your emotions. If you're the type of person that just bottles up and doesn't talk about things and you just wait till the moment you explode, that's definitely not the way to do it. Step out of your comfort zone, find a support group, find somebody to talk to, anything. Write it out in a journal. Write it, write it out and burn it. Write it out, give it to somebody to read. Like you have got to step out of your comfort zone and let this out. You have got to let this out. All right, now we're gonna jump into your tarot cards. All right, so your first one is, ooh, eight of wands. So you're definitely, you're definitely not wanting. You don't want to stay back and experience this. You're wanting to move forward and push on. You're definitely wanting to because you're reaching. You're reaching for it to go up along with everything else, right? Because the volcano is pushing everything up. So you're definitely wanting to break out of that, which is why you're getting the comfort zone, right? And you're being told to not, to not lead with your emotions. And wand is all about emotions as well, too. High energy. Reach for that. Reach for that. Reach for that. Then we have the Ace of Cups. Wait, what is this? Is this cups or pentacles? I'm guessing pentacles. The ace of pentacles. Sometimes we can't see a gift even when it is dropped right in our laps. There are nowhere nearly as things are nowhere nearly as bad as you are making them. Right? So you're living in your head, right? Get out of your head. Stop living in your head because that's where you start overthinking and making things more out of what they are. And you do have a chance to make them even better. That's why it's too bad you can't see how this is the first step to a much more pleasant journey. New moon and cancer, new things, new journeys. There, like you, the journey has been there. Like you've been given the opportunity. This is telling me you, you've had the opportunities in the past, but because you're living inside your head, you're not able to move forward. You're not able to move forward so you can live every moment and experience life by living in the present because you're living in your head. You're living in the past. 
the opportunities have been presenting itself and they will continue to present themselves to you. But you have to decide for yourself when, when are you going to do that? When are you going to say, you know what, I'm tired. I'm tired of being how I am. I'm tired of living in my head. I want a change. I don't want to be a prisoner of my own emotions. I don't want to be a prisoner in my head. You've got to let yourself out of that. Step out of your comfort zone. Risk it, right? I always say risk it for the biscuit. Like literally you have to risk it for the biscuit every day. Risk it. Take chances. Live life, okay? You're you're holding yourself back by living in your head, okay? Now you guys on pile number three received two of these tarot cards. You got the Empress, which is very, very, someone who's very, very spiritually in tuned, right? And that you're very, very spiritually in tuned. You're very, very, which explains why you're all up in your head. Okay. That explains why you're all up in your head because you're an overthinker. Okay. You overthink a lot of things, but you do know from your intuition, you do know because you feel these instincts, you feel these, into, you feel your intuition. You do know what you should be doing. But like I said, you're living in your head. You're living in the past. You're letting your past hold you back. Letting your past hold you back. You have got to start trusting your instincts more. Trust yourself. Then you have the eight of wands <laughs> look at a little bird giving a note right eight of wands which is so funny right because you got the eight of wands here and the eight of wands here. Okay. You got two eight of wands from two different decks. Okay. Two eight of wands. Like you're open to being channeled with new ideas in your head, but you're not letting yourself feel it, which is why you're getting the Empress card. The Empress card is telling you, trust your instincts, trust your intuition. There is no doubt that you will feel a rush and a thrill of ideas. And you need to feel your ideas so you can feel them in your mind, right? And keep in mind that this burst of energy that you have, when you feel it, know that you are heading in the right direction. Okay. It's telling you to, like, I don't know how else to put it, like, You have all these new ideas, all these new things that you want to do as far as living in the now, living in the present, but you're all stuck. You are stuck in your head. You are so stuck in your head is preventing you from doing all these things. You're not trusting your instincts more because of this. And this is something that's just happened recently. Okay. This is something that's just happened recently that's making you live in your head. It hasn't always been like this. It hasn't always been like this because I'm taking from this card that you, that you are the type of person that lives every moment as you are living it now, but something happened to where you've been in your head too much. Something's happened to where you've been in your head too much and you need to get out of that. You're in a funk. You are in a funk. Then you have the five of cups. Oh my God, camera issues is the worst. The Five of Cups. There is no pleasant way to experience the five of cups. It is one of those cards that will bring a certain level of pain, right? So this is forcing you to deal with your pain, your emotional pain. We are reminded that the life is not without choices and choices are not without consequences. 
once again, it's another five of cups. The five of cups reminds us that the pain is part of life, but suffering is optional. Pain is part of life. Emotional pain is part of life, but suffering is optional. You're causing yourself to suffer through this emotional pain. Okay. You're causing yourself to suffer through this emotional pain. Life will go on and this won't be the last time you will have to let something or someone go, right? You have got to let this go because fabulous new opportunities await for you after you say goodbye, say goodbye to the past. There's so many new opportunities for you. So many new opportunities for you, but you are holding yourself back. You are in your head. And like I said, it's something that's just happened recently. Okay. Because I'm getting from the cards that you are normally and typically a person that lives in the moment and lives in the now and lives in the present, right? But something has happened to where you're in your head and you've stopped living for the now. And you're being asked and told that you need to get out of that. You don't, you don't need to make yourself suffer. You don't need to make yourself suffer by living in your head anymore. Let go. You have to release this. Okay. New moon and cancer. New starts, new relationships, new home life, new everything. Let things go so you can move forward with yourself. Okay. You don't want to feel stuck and stagnant anymore because you're all in your head. You're like, you're saying to yourself, I don't see myself going anywhere. I don't see myself doing this. I don't see any progression. And that's because you are all in your head. Get out of your headspace. Get out, step out of your comfort zone. Get out of that headspace. There are so many opportunities waiting for you. So many opportunities as the days go by and you're wasting them by living in your head, okay? And having these events hold you back. Don't let these events hold you back, okay? All right, pile number three. That was pretty intense. This was your reading for new moon and cancer. You have got a lot of letting go emotionally and, and what you need to do as far as your headspace goes. So, um... I hope this resonated with you. And once again, these are collective readings. So you may or may not find a pile that resonates with you. Okay. Now we are moving on to pile number four. Last pile of the new moon in Cancer. So pile number four, you have the carnelian flower agate as your crystal, and you are the fiery. The fiery. Very, very, very interesting card. Okay. Let's see what we got to go with it. I'm going to do your oracle cards first before we hop into the tarot. So... You have, ooh, Duke of Shadows, hat feathers. Oh my God, y'all, feathers. Look at the feathers. You can't make this up. Feathers, feathers, feathers. Then you have Oaths. Oaths. with the Duke of Shadows and the Fiery. Then you have Celebrate Life. I celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life of Mother Earth. I'm getting the really great vibes from this and how it goes with the oath over here. Lots of symbolism here. Feathers again. Feathers again. Birds. Birds being very key theme here. Birds being very key theme. Very key. Then you have, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So being prideful can be a good thing and a bad thing. So let me get into these real quick. Okay, let's see what the Duke of Shadow has to say. Let's see what the Duke of Shadow has to say. So Duke of Shadow says, cunningly clever am I. Helping you, discern, helping you discern the truth from the lie. 
I remind you that half truths may seem to be whole, yet in the shadows is transformation yet to be known. When the time is right, the light shall be bright, and confusion will give away to understanding. Very interesting, and it comes with the fiery. So there is some confusion. You're having a hard time weeding out the lies from the truths. You have a hard time discerning lies and truth because someone or multiple people are lying to you and have been, and they take advantage of the fact that you trust them. You are a trusting person, okay? You are a very trusting person. And the fiery, I get so many things off of this, but I need to dig into this reading some more. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this. Oath, my lovely child, you have chosen the symbol for oath. This is the symbol for all promises and is a reminder to keep the ones you have made. So this is telling you about promises and breaking promises. So I'm not sure if you've been making promises and been trying to make things based off your word and not following through, which kind of matches up with lies and deceit and not being able to discern truth from lies. A lot of deceit is going on and I'm not sure which end it's from yet. So give me just a moment. Don't let pride get in your way. I'm sensing it's from other people breaking their promises to you because you are a very trusting person. And that's the reason you can't discern sometimes, especially with people that you love, the truth from the lies. Because you are blinded by how you feel and your love for these people that are in your life. And they sit there and they break their oath. They break their word to you over and over and over and over again. But you still, for some reason, you're okay with them doing that. You're okay with people breaking their word and lying to you. And then you just take them at their word. But they'll just give you some random ass excuse, right? And you're just like, oh, okay. And you deal with that. And you're like, okay. And you take them at that. You don't think twice about it. At least not to them. But you know in your head, you're like, did they really just do that to me? This is telling you what I'm getting now from this card. Because you see how there's the fiery on, on the forehead, right? This is telling you what I'm getting. You need to feel the fire. Feel how much it burns you inside that people are treating you this way. It should bother you so much that people should see how much it bothers you that people are treating you this way. You do not deserve to be lied to, to have people break their word and promises to you. You do not deserve that. You deserve way better than that. And you're holding in how you feel, but it is, it is like raging. You can feel it in yourself. It's wanting to be expressed. It's wanting to come out. And you need to express it like the fiery person you are on the inside. You really are a person with a lot of life and a lot to give and a lot of passion. And you need to let these people know that you are not a welcome mat. You're not going to be lied to anymore. You're going to be taken seriously because anybody, anybody would love to have you in their life. Okay. You're not lucky to have them. They're lucky to have you. Stop letting people lie to you and take advantage of you. Stop letting people lie to you. You've been lied to and had their words broken, promises broken so many times that it's almost become something that you're used to. And that should not be something that you're ever used to. Show how mad it makes you. Show how disappointed it makes you. Show how embarrassed you are for them. Because that is totally not what you are. And they know this, but they take advantage of that nice, trusting part of you because they know that you're always going to be there. Right? 
all about celebrate life. Celebrate every day by honoring and respecting, respecting all life of Mother Earth. That includes respect for yourself. Have respect for yourself. Birds, okay, if you've been seeing a lot of birds, there is a reason. There is a reason why you are seeing birds, picking up feathers. There is a reason. And this is telling you. This is telling you the reason. Stop letting people take advantage of you. You have a lot of pride, which is part of the problem, right? You have a lot of pride. Don't let your pride get in the way. Let these people feel and see how mad, how disappointed that you are with them anytime they lie or break their word to you, okay? Remember, new moon and cancer is all about new things, okay? New things, especially in the home, okay? Especially in the home with relationships. Which, this is perfect. Like, this is absolutely, like, very perfect for that. Now, let's dig into your tarot cards. Now, pile number three, you actually had quite a bit of tarot cards jump out. So, um, this is a message that you definitely need to hear as far as this new moon in Cancer goes. So, please, please, please listen, listen, listen if you pick this pile and it is resonating with you, okay? Because you received more tarot cards than usual. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords brings with it a gift, secret, or knowing <clears throat> that was unavailable to you before as you were not in alignment with it. But now that you are and you can see the sword, will you pick it up? Is the offer even relevant anymore? Perhaps the sword offers only the gift of hindsight, right? Looking back on things of what people had said to you, lied to you, broken their word to you about. And all we know how helpful that is. I guess you won't know until you hold the sword in your hands, right? It's almost like the sword of truth is what I'm getting from this, right? The sword of truth. Hold people to their word. Don't just trust and go off of what they're telling you. This is, you can't make this up, right? It's like a sword of truth for me here. Sword of truth. Speak your truths so they can speak their truths, okay? The eight of cups. The eight of cups. I hate how it's so out of focus. There we go. Now there's no reversals because new moon is a new change. So we don't want reversals with that, right? So eight of cups. It is not easy to admit something you have invested time in just into just so it won't work. Walking away can be painful, but unfortunately that is if you don't walk away now, you will only make it worse when everything eventually comes crashing down on top of you. Staying will only bring you sustained pain. Leaving will hurt, but the pain will only be temporary. Wow, it's time to walk away. You have got to start walking away when these people lie to you. Or when these people break their word, you got to be like, you know what? I'm done with that. Walk away from that. You can give people time to tell you the truth that you know, because you know that you know that they're not being truthful. You know, you, and you can give them time to tell you the truth. And then when they don't walk the F away, this is telling you to walk the F away. Sort of truth. Walk away. Ooh, the star. The star. Yeah. 
So this is saying that big dream, wish, or goal, the one that scares you so much that you won't even allow yourself to think about for longer than a second, is screaming at the top of its lungs. Your heart is talking to the universe and the dream weaver is listening. Sometimes your biggest and scariest dreams, wishes, and goals are part of your karmic journey. They will come to pass whether we believe we deserve them or not. Now is one of those times. Your heart is setting the course of your next, of your next adventure. And the dream weaver has answered the call. So you are already, like you already have this big dream, this wish, and this goal. And you are it's already telling you, like, everything is lining up for that. Whatever this big dream and wish that you have. Everything is lining up to that, right? But you have to get rid of toxicity, okay? You have got to get rid of all this toxicity, before you're able to move on to access, to fully acquire that goal, that dream, that vision that you have. All right, let's see. Then you have the chariot. Telling you to take off. Leave it behind. Leave it, walk away, leave it behind. With the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Yes. Yes. Full happiness around on everything. Relationships, home, money. This is happiness with everything. But you have to know when to walk away. You have to know when to walk away. Walk away. Leaving things behind. The three of pentacles, collaboration, teamwork. You can't do this by yourself, right? You, you can't do this by yourself. You're going to need help. And it's okay to have the help that you need. Seek support. You need a support system. Because this is so deep within you. You're not at that point yet to where you can do it by yourself. And this is saying if you can't do it by yourself and you're at the point that you can't do it by yourself, seek out a support system, okay? You need to seek out a support system. Then you have the emperor. The emperor. Now remember, you're a very prideful person. Very prideful person. Things are, there are things that only you and you alone can do. These are important things and they need all your focus and concentration. You are building something sustainable in your life. Some of the pieces are here for you to attend to and some are not. In order to make sure you have a solid foundation on which to grow and expand your own personal empire, you must take the pieces that are your personal responsibility and attend to them. Make sure each step of the way you ground your power and sharpen the entire building skills. So this is telling about foundation, right? So you have to have a solid foundation, okay? You got to have a solid foundation before you can move on to reaching your goals. Everything starts with a solid foundation. Your foundation is pretty damn shaky. Your foundation is pretty damn shaky. It's got a lot of toxicity in it. You have got to clear that out. Get rid of all the toxicity. Get rid of the toxic people, the toxic relationships. Get rid of it. Walk away. Move on. Because when you do that, you can achieve all your goals and what you have in your visions that you have set. Because it's already, this card is stating that it's already there. Once you let go of all the toxicity, it's already been, you're already going to achieve it. Everything that you've seen, that you've, your goals that you've set for yourself will be achieved. 
but you have to get rid of all the toxicity in your life, the toxic relationships, the toxic people, toxic job, whatever the toxic is, you have to do away with it. Sword of truth. Now is the time to speak your truth. Speak your truth. Stop having people break their word and lie to you. Nobody needs that. Seek out a support system, right? In the beginning, you're going to need a support system because you're not strong enough yet to do this on your own. And then when you are, you're able to do this on your own to have your solid foundation. Okay, you're building up to that foundation that you need. You're building up the core of yourself, your confidence, your foundation, right? Because if you have a shaky, if you have shaky confidence, you're not gonna be able to follow through with anything. And once you have a strong foundation, strong confidence in yourself, you'll be able to do anything and you can achieve everything that you've been wanting to do. Walk away, walk away, sort of truth. All right, pile number four, there was your reading. I hope it resonated with you. Make the changes necessary. Every pile, make the changes necessary for this new moon in Cancer. All right, let me know in the comments what you think if this resonated with you. And if you would like for me to do more pick a piles because I'm actually enjoying doing these. So um, I hope this resonated with you. And if not, I'm so very sorry. These are collective readings. So the piles may or may not resonate with you, but I do hope you find a pile that resonates with you. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your month and um, I will see you guys next week for more all sign readings that I'll be putting out for next month. So I hope this resonated with you. You guys have a great, great, great rest of your day and thank you.